welcome genius in this lecture we will learn about loops in Vue.js which is called as list rendering in Vue.js docs so in our app I have these data messages which have list of messages as object and in that object we have two properties ID which is unique ID and second property is message and in our HTML side I have nothing just D with the ID of app and that test is just for test now how can we render this list obviously we are going to use loops we will loop on each message and display result in our web page so how you implement loops in Vue.js so in our HTML we will first write URL tag don't forget because we are using loop we will just go for loop we also have to follow HTML so you can write div here as well but I would prefer to use ul and li so we will have ul and inside that I will have li now you can give id or class as you want and because this is example I am not giving any id or example let's straight dive in loops to implement a loop in Vue.js first we will use v4 directive ok equals to first let me just type name of the property I am looping over so I will type messages and if you are coming from Python then it may look familiar to you so what's that I want to iterate each message in this messages array so I will write message in messages easy so it will pull out one single message in this whole array on each iteration did you get it now because we are pulling out each single message now we can display our message so right now we have message object so we are pulling out whole object here and to display only message I have to write message let's first start with only simple example let's just output whole object so now if I run this I will get an order list and I will have all these messages ID1, ID2, ID3, ID4 and their according messages now to display only messages I will just use dot message and we have messages hi hello how are you and I am fine and to display its number I can use so in first message it was hi in second hello third how are you and fourth I am fine so this is how you can loop over array now let's take another example for iterating over an object instead of array okay so we have our data in our data I have this single message as an object and in that object I have ID which is 7 the message sent by user 1 time the message was sent and it is 31st February 2019 and the message is there is no date like 31st February how can I iterate over this object so first thing first we will write v4 directive and just like array we will use in and our object in this case so I am pulling out property so I will use PR for property in single message like this so this will pull out single property for me but actually it will pull out value so I should change it to value because when you iterate over an object it will pull out value of property instead of actual property so let's just output this value and we will get 7 user 1 31st February 2090 there is no date like 31st February so these are values of our object now it will be more informative if we can also output our properties which means how can we output our properties with this value for this you have to use so this will pull out first property then colon and then pull out value 
so let's run it and now it is looking more informative because now we have id and value as well this is how you can iterate over object now there's one more thing whenever you talk about loops index also comes in mind so let's say in this message array how can i get the index to get an index we will simply pass index here instead of that single value and now if i run this i get the index index 0 1 2 and 3 and their corresponding messages and this is how you can also get index so this was easy and there's one more thing you have to watch out for and that is called as key and in previous lectures you have learned about reactivity of data in Vue.js so Vue.js re-renders DOM whenever data changes and when you are using these loops Vue.js tracks this by some kind of index and for beginner you don't have to worry about that much you just have to remember that if you are modifying your list then you should use key in your loop and how can we use key the key is a unique identity of each item just like we have index another example in these messages we have id as unique id so a key can be any unique thing to each item so in here key can be index because index of each item is different as you can see 0 1 2 and 3 and to assign an index we have to bind it because if I don't bind this key then I am just using string index which will be same for all the items and if I bind this key then this index will be changed on each iteration so this is how you can assign key when looping over an array or object now let's say I don't want any index so if you don't want any index then you can use like in this example I have message id so I can pass message dot id to get unique key and that is totally fine now one more thing I used message dot id right in my opening li tag yes you can use that singular item message right in your opening tag you don't have to define it after you open your tag just like I used index and message dot message you can use it right in here this can be useful if you want to dynamically bind key just like we did here or if you want to dynamically apply classes or style based on each item as we learned in previous lecture you can apply it conditionally pretty clever right so that's it for this lecture and in next lecture we will learn more about list rendering in Vue.js see you there